BG, we were just talking to Russ and he said that there was a little bit of excitement. Obviously, back to backs are never fun, but the fact that you guys as a team get to get right back out there again tomorrow and try to make up for what happened today um, it is exciting. Do you feel that way as well that after a tough game like this, well, back to backs are never fun, you guys do want to go back out there tonight and try to get them back? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Another uh, chance to play, uh, play full strength. And uh, nature of the league, you know, games come quick. Yeah, Paul, a little while ago, Coach Craig was talking about some of the defensive breakdowns throughout the games, especially there in the fourth quarter. You know, just from your perspective, you know, what, did, what did you see on that end? Uh, I just thought we didn't finish rotations. Um, you know, Wendell Carter, uh, he shot it well, but then on some of them, it was just, we just didn't finish, finish rotations and we didn't take his shot. Making. Serious, um, and, I, and I thought that was, uh, you know, I thought that was part of the fourth quarter, uh, giving up some uh, some, some uh, threes that we could have avoided. Uh, you guys had a relatively healthy rotation the last couple games, uh, and then a really good rhythm and chemistry. Here's your Kawhi out, but that kind of maybe something that got thrown off, uh, adjusting to, to you and Russ are able to do a lot more than the ball Uh, no, it didn't throw us off. Uh, you know, we uh, practiced that way, and uh, you know, we, it, it wasn't like it was something that just was thrown at us. We knew uh, Kawhi was going to be into that today, um, so we knew, you know, uh, the roles and, and what we needed to do today. Real quick, gave you 23 minutes today, uh, 11 points in the plus time. Just what did you make it? What did you do to get you guys to Uh, Link, um, and uh, Real quick just makes winning plays. I thought he did that today. Small point. When Kawhi was playing, how much more falls in the shoulders this you even knew that way? Uh, I just, you know, know I got to do my job and uh, be more aggressive. Um, and, uh, you know, just try to keep us poised. Um, that's really the adjustments that, uh, that goes into, you know, when Kawhi's out. Um, it's, it's just, you know, be a little bit more aggressive. Okay. Good. Paul, talk about it as far as, you know, I noticed in the third quarter that you began to take over and you gave your team the momentum. But yet in the fourth quarter, it seems like they picked up the momentum and um, overtook you guys. Talk about the transition from the third to fourth quarter. Uh, I mean, yeah, we gave up 40 in the, in the fourth. Uh, held them to under 20 in the third. Um, yes. It's just a, a big gap, um, and I thought, you know, again, with them spreading the floor, it gave them like, a ton of space, and, and we didn't finish rotations in my fourth. Cool. Thanks, Paul. How do you encourage uh, a Russ when he's struggling, maybe from shooting? What do you tell him? What does the coach tell him as far as to continue to persevere? I mean, he's, he's a professional. He's a, a veteran, uh, top 75 player. Uh, you know, he's going to get through it. Uh, he knows to stay confident. And, uh, he knows that we trust him. He got his back. And he's going to, uh, you know, stay in the tank mode. You know? um, I, don't, I don't ever worry about, um, you know, aggressive shooting or, you know, I just know what he brings and, and his value to the team. And, you know, that is bigger than anything, you know, uh, whether he makes or miss shots, it's, it's part of the game. You know, he just does so much other stuff that, um, to me, I mean, I don't care. You know, he, he plays hard, and that's a guy that I'm going to roll with. And, uh, you know, he's a guy I want to compete with on a nightly basis, so he knows to just stay calm and just keep shooting. Thank you, Paul. Appreciate it. Thank you. Let's get ready for Hoop Jab. <laughs> 